hello friends welcome to sql server uh, tutorial in this video we will see how to manage a resource pool using sql server uh, management studio as already stated in the previous video SQL Server Management Studio provides resource pools under Resource Governor. So, resource pool is a component of Resource Governor, or we can state Resource Governor depends on Resource Pool, Classifier function, and workload. That's nothing but the incoming request to consume the resource. Right? And you can see. So, under resource governor so this is where we previously right clicked and chose enable or disable resource governor once you enabled it you can expand the node and under system resource pool you can see default as well as internal uh, resource pool so we know that default is the home for all uh, um, workload that doesn't have any specific resource pool so if that's the case the workload will directly come and assigned to this default so this internal which is used by the sql server itself for its operation say for example you are making a joint query and that requires internal processing of scanning the record so all the stuff will make use of the resource from this uh, internal resource pool we can also notice building default and internal resource pool so that's what we saw here right now we will create the custom resource pool under the resource pool node for that we need a demo we will go to a school server and we will create our own resource pool all right we will close our uh, previous query session or we will just uh, delete it we will enable the resource governor first expand and under resource pool if you see there is a system resource pools and it contains two resource pool one is default and another one is internal and if you see how the workload groups are assigned to a specific resource pool so here the workload group is default and here the workload group is internal right likewise we need to create resource pool then assign workload group like uh, how the defaults are working here so to create your own resource pool right click and choose new resource pool this will present a dialog let me expand it here is the resource pool right click on this empty slot and choose my so it should be a meaningful name say for example uh, resource pool for building counter resource pool for purchase counter resource pool for uh, report generation likewise you can create multiple resource pool keeping in memory that what are all the components of your database application here since we are using the uh, sample db and there is no database application and there is not much uh, workstation and users for demo purpose here we are simply creating uh, my resource pool So minimum CPU 5%. Remember here the CPU time slice will be given to all the process that is running here, right? So task manager, if you see this is the CPU, and if you see how the CPU is scheduled among different process, and here for a school server, this is management studio. The for a school server process itself there will be some 
CPU time slice given by the OS. So, whatever the OS is giving on that given CPU time slice, we are calculating this percentage. Say, uh, for example, uh, for the entire OS, there is the availability of 100% CPU and in that, let's state that the quota for SQL Server is 50%. So on that 50%, we will be giving the um, minimum and maximum CPU yields here. So 50% in the sense the 50 is uh, given here as 100%. So instead of CPU heads for easy understanding let's take uh, the minimum memory let's state that the overall, overall OS or the machine is having 128 GB of uh, memory so in that 128 GB let's state that uh, uh, a school server has given 50 GB so that 50 GB is considered here as 100% and 50% of that uh, uh, quota is 25 GB, right? 50 GB is given fully for SQL Server, even though the server is having only 28 GB. So that 50 GB is considered as 100%, and if I state minimum of 25%, uh, uh, then 25 GB is given. Likewise, you have to think of the minimum CPU for this my resource pool and if you see the default and the internal uh, minimum CPU percentage is zero and the maximum is 100 percent but here since we are creating our own uh, CPU climbs we are giving a 5 percent CPU and maximum it will utilize 20 percent maybe you can call it as a slow running process or background process and memory we will go the same way 5% and 20% so that's how we created our resource pool hit the delete button otherwise it will not allow us to save that's all we have default internal as well as my resource pool and no workload group is assigned it so here we just created a resource pool click ok here and refresh expand the resource pool you can see my resource pool so there are three pools two blanks to the system and one is internal for SQL Server usage. Default unassigned workload group will climb the resources from this default uh, pool. And if you assign any workload to my resource pool, that will take uh, the resource from this uh, specific uh, uh, resource pool. The resource pool has a restriction of climbing. 20 percentage of CPU max but at the same time it will at least give for percentage of CPU yield to the incoming request that's all here in this video we just created a resource pool thank you for watching bye